Hello everyone, it's Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com coming to you today reading the magic. I am going to read you day number 23. If you've been following me live, there was a couple days there that I actually didn't do this and I, I um, went to Mount Shasta and enjoyed the heck out of myself. But if you're following along with us on your own time, then you haven't even skipped a beat. So today we are going to read day 23, the magical air that you breathe. And man, did I breathe some good air. I did some mantras, some sita ram, sita ram, sita ram, just some serious chanting and uh, enjoyed myself so much. I did some hikes, Riley and I did some camping, uh, not at the base of Mount Shasta, because I'm recording this in April, and it was snow-packed. I mean, even the Bunny Hill was snow-packed, so, which is like the elevation point if you've been to Mount Shasta. Uh, I went to Stewart Mineral Springs and had a few days there, doing soaks and tubs and, and sauna, and then cold river plunges. Whew. I've put a lot of stuff out on my other media platforms, so if you want to check some of those videos out or something, Instagram, Facebook, um, Snapchat, all that's got it. But let me get right into the book today, The Magical Air That You Breathe. If someone had told me a few years back to be grateful for the air that I could breathe, I would have thought that person was crazy. I wouldn't have made a bit, it wouldn't have made a bit of sense to me. Why on the earth would anyone be grateful for the air they breathe? But as my life changed from gratitude, from using gratitude, the things I, look f I took for granted or didn't give a second thought about became absolute miracles to me. I went from sweating the small stuff in life to actually opening my eyes and thinking about the bigger picture and the wonder of the universe. What if I just sit up a little higher? That's all me though, let's see. As the great scientist Newton said, when I look at the solar system, I see the Earth at the right distance from the sun to receive the proper amount of heat and light. That is so true. I don't even think about that. That did not happen by chance, is what Newton said. Those words made me think about more and more the bigger picture. It was not an accident. And there's a protective atmosphere that surrounds us. And that beyond it is no, oh, oh and there, and that, yeah, that's just to that. And that beyond it, there's no air or oxygen. It's not an accident that the trees give off oxygen to our atmosphere and continually replenishes it. It's not an accident that our solar system is perfectly placed in the galaxy. And there are thousands of perimeters of ratios that support life on Earth. All of them are knife are on a knife edge and their fine tuning is so critical that a fraction of a difference in any of these parameters and ratios make life unbearable. No, un unlivable on <laughs> planet Earth. It's difficult to believe any of these things could happen by accident. It would seem that they are perfectly designed, perfectly placed, and perfectly balanced for us. So true, man. We, we really have to think this deep because it's amazing. When the realization hits you that all these things might not be an accident and there's a balance for every microscopic element surrounding Earth and on Earth is a perfect harmony to support us, you will feel an overwhelming sense of gratitude for your life because all of it has been done to sustain you. Let's just take a moment to like soak that in. Wow. I mean, really. It's pretty darn cool. From my view, you can't see it, but from my view, every single window of my house, every single one, even the bathroom, um, looks out into these beautiful redwoods. And right now, the sun is shining and just perfectly. And man, man, am I grateful. I may take a walk right after this one. The magical air that you breathe is not an accident or a fluke by nature. When you think about the enormity, enorm oh, enormousness, of what has taken place in the universe for us to have air. And then you take a breath. Breathing air into your body becomes breathtaking in every sense of the word. We take a breath one after another. Yet oxygen is the most important, plentiful element in our bodies 
And as we breathe it, it feeds every single cell in our body so that we continue to breathe and live. The most precious gift of our life is air because without it, none of us would last more than a few moments. This is true. Oh, I'm just gonna breathe in because that feels so good. When I first began to use the gratitude's magical power, I used it for a lot of personal things I wanted and it worked. But it was when I began to actually use it for the real gifts in life that I experienced the ultimate power of gratitude. The more grateful I became for the sunsets, the trees, the ocean, the dew on the grass, my life, the people in it, every material thing I could ever dreamed started pouring in. Oh my God. Okay. So here's the secret to the magic, <laughs> right? Be grateful for even those kind of things. You know, there are people that have not even thought about being grateful for that stuff. You know them because their minds are filled with negative, toxic stuff that spews out of them all the time. And I don't mean to be rude, but you know that. And if they could just tweak just a little bit, how much better would their life be, right? I mean, and then ours for being in their presence, I hope. When I first began the magical power, or gratitude's magical power, I used it for, oh, I already read that, sorry. Da, 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 da. Today, stop thinking about, oh, stop and think about glorious air that you breathe. Take five deliberate breaths and feel, oh, I'm gonna do this right now outside, and feel the air moving inside of your body and feel the joy of breathing it. Take five full breaths in five different times throughout your day. So five full breaths, five different times, maybe you could just do it on the hour, or maybe just even when you remember it, or you could set your little clock timer or something like that. This is just something you should do all the time. And then once you've done that set of five, then say the words, thank you for this magical air that I breathe and be as genuinely grateful as you pro oh, as you can for precious life giving air that you breathe. It is the best thing if you can do the magical practice outside and you can really feel the appreciation of the magical air. Okay, if you can't do it outside and you live in a smogged area, then do it inside. Um, or do it with essential oils or if you can't go outside because I know that some people follow us from other countries where it's not really that safe to go outside right now um, then just do it inside your house and just be super grateful just find any little thing right that you can you can close your eyes while taking the breaths or you can leave them open you can do it while you're walking you're waiting in line you're shopping or anywhere Ooh, this is great because it's like it's 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 like a satanama, right? It's like a meditation. It's a it's a really really good thing to do. And then you say thank you. In ancient teachings, it is said that when a person reaches the point of being grateful for the air that they breathe, their gratitude will have reached a new level of power, and they will become a true alchemist who can effortlessly turn everything in their life to gold. I'm signing up for that. I will take that. Can I? Can I? Yes. We're going to do that. You going to do that with me? Let's do it. Let's team up. Let's do it. Magical practice number 23. The magical air that you breathe. Number one, count your blessings. Make a list of 10 blessings. Right. Why, why you're grateful. You know this one already. Reread your list and at the end of each blessing, say thank you, thank you, thank you, and feel the gratitude and blessing for each one. Ah, oh, I love this. Number two, five times a day, stop and think about your glorious breath and take five deliberate breaths and feel the feeling of air flowing through your body and feel joy of breathing in and out. One, two, three, four, five. You can do this, you're breathing all the time. All you have to do now is focus on it. Number three, after you've taken five breaths, say the magic words, thank you for this magical air that I breathe. So good. Be grateful. Oh, be as grateful as you possibly can for this precious life-giving air. And number four, hmm, this makes me sleepy. Number four, tonight, before you go to bed, hold your magical hand rock in one hand and be thankful for the best thing that happened for you today. This is gonna be a great day for my lungs, right? And then you just keep it up forever. This is Pepper Hernandez with Dr. Pepper Hernandez reading you the magic. I hope that you enjoy your day and all of the fresh air that you get to breathe. Ah, oh, that's so good. 
I want you to have the most magical, wonderful day that you possibly can because we need to make this our very best life ever because why not, right? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow for day 24. Bye.